you'd be really frustrated with the amount that you're spending on advertising to draw the right people to your business. Or maybe it's that you just want to um, reduce the amount that you're spending. Then in this video, I wanna share with you how to create evergreen blog posts that have long lasting benefits and long lasting growth for your business. Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach, and I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to investment using storytelling, strategy, and systems. And as I said today, I wanna to talk about the content side of things, how to create evergreen blog posts. Now, if you're wondering what evergreen uh, blog post means, it means pieces of content that have a, um, that draw organic traffic to your website and they have long lasting benefits. Now, there are lots of different types of evergreen blog posts that you can be creating, but five types of blog posts that you can use are, the first one is how to's. People love instructional videos and they're the type of content that gets shared uh, very easily. Now, when I started out in my business, um, how to blog posts was what I did a lot of because I'm just a natural born teacher. I love teaching. And so the how to comes very easy to me. Now, if you're in a business where you think, well, I don't uh, show people how I do things or I don't teach, you're not in the information space. Uh, you'll be surprised how much um, people like to know about how things work behind the scenes of your business. It gives them confidence um, in what you're doing and also um, that trust that um, and the quality of, of what you're creating is there for them to then want to um, invest in. The other type of blog post are list posts or listicles. So lists or listicles, whichever one works for you. But our eye is drawn as human beings, we're drawn to numbers, particularly odd numbers. So if you can create a blog post that in that title, it says seven ways to, or seven steps to, or five um, tips on how to, uh, these are great blog posts because we're drawn to them. Uh, we love having lists and we love being able to check things off. So list posts work really well. And if you look at um, any of the uh, BuzzFeed is a great example. So much of their content is based on lists. And as you, as you know, um, BuzzFeed's content gets shared very widely. So list posts are great for sharing content. And if we can get our content shared, um, then Google knows that it's quality content. Um, if someone spends a lot of time on that blog post, again, it's another trigger to Google that this is quality content. And these are all the things we need to be able to tick off for our content to have um, long lasting um, effects for our business. Another type of blog post is industry news. Um, if you've got things that are happening in your business all the time or industry changes or trends, then there's a great to uh, create evergreen blog posts around. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but the data changes. Well, what we do in uh, to create an evergreen blog post is we keep the principles or the foundation of that um, blog post the same. But if the data and the analytics happen or the trend happens to change over time, we can update it. And the other thing Google loves is updated content. So I tend to put the words updated uh, 2021, for example, in brackets inside the um, headline of the blog post and I'll update that data so that Facebook, uh, sorry, so that Google knows that the content has been updated. So another great uh, blog post type for you to use. Now guides are another one and complete guides um, work really well. And I know that this has worked well in my business as well. Having a guide that someone uh, can use to help them complete a particular project. Um, so if you're got um, the, you know, particular things in your business that you say, that, say you've got a hub or a um, particular topic, core topic that you write about, creating a guide around that that then has other blog post topics off it. So we're creating a content map and I'll talk about that again um, in another video. But being able to create that means that this pillar piece of content or this core piece of content um, becomes stronger because it's got links to it. Again, another trigger for Google. They love having um, a lot of links coming into um, a particular blog post type. 
Templates is another type of blog post that has worked so well for me. Um, one of the things I like about templates is that it's a quick and easy way for someone to create something without having to start from scratch. So templates become highly valuable to your, um, to your ideal client because you've done most of the work for them. They can use the template to, um, to get things done easily. And the last one is answering reader questions. So by answering your readers questions, you're actually giving them the content that they most want. Now in the olden days, uh, when I very first started doing blogging, um, you know, 12 years ago, when we wrote a blog post, the comment section of a blog was full of comments and questions, and it created a lot of inspiration for new content to create. A lot of those comments now, well, the majority of those comments now, are obviously on social media instead. And so we're losing a little bit of that from our content. So use social media, use forums if you still have, if your industry still has access to forums. Um, I also use uh, discovery calls with potential new clients because they tend to share um, their biggest wants and their biggest desires and their biggest challenges inside of that call. And I take copious amounts of notes during those discovery calls because that has uh, inspiration for content as well. So find all the ways that you talk with your ideal client, uh, all the ways that you communicate with them so that you can find out what they most want to learn about and create that into a blog post. So as you can see, there's different, there's just five types of um, blog posts that you can create for your business, how to templates, guides, listicles or list posts, answer your readers. Um, these are all great blog posts and the data as well. Maybe I've done more than five. Um, I've given you some extra ones, but they're the type of blog posts that you can be creating in your business so that you can now start creating evergreen pieces of content that continually drive people to your website, ensuring that you're capturing them once they uh, land on your website so that you can nurture them and then invite them to work with you. And I have a lot of uh, blog posts around and videos as well around how to do that. But for now, start with the content um, and I'd love to hear how you're going. Please share in the comments with me um, how you're going with creating those blog posts. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.